Hey, what's going on everyone? Neil Henderson here from Clearview Plastics in Sacramento, California. And I'm coming to you today because I want to offer some more information about the enclosure we make for the X-Tool D1 laser engraver. And we're also going to announce a few updates that we've uh, made to enhance the performance of this as well. First off, for those that are new to our enclosures and or are new to the X-Tool D1, what we've created is a tailor fit system for your X-Tool D1 laser engraver. And our design is unique because the X-Tool D1 sits inside of the enclosure and functions as a single piece. So when you move the machine, the enclosure comes right along with it. And uh, we've done so by, we actually are resting the feet of the machine right on top of the feet of the enclosure and you can see here that by design we've made it so that the enclosure hugs the machine nice and tight on all sides and we think this is important because this is a nice stable solution so that especially if you are moving the laser around often that this is super handy and creates an easier setup every single time. The first and probably what will be the most important option that you'll choose when checking out with your X-Tool D1 enclosure is the type of panels that you order. Now, first let me say that now all of our enclosures include one quarter inch commercial grade acrylic panels. And this is essential for reducing any sag and the, having great rigidity for this and strength for the enclosure. Um, and the options that you'll choose from are the color of the acrylics that you get. So the base option is for clear acrylics and this is good for the budget conscious or those that want to be able to see their workpiece nice and easy. The upgraded option Will be for our laser filtering panels. These are amber in color and these are spectrometer tested. I can't believe I actually said that right on like the first try to actually block most of the harmful wavelengths that your diode laser operates at. So what we're looking at is that the X-Tool D1 laser operates at a 450 nanometer uh, wavelength. And through a spectrometer analysis, it has shown that it blocks up to 99% of the harmful wavelengths that the, opera, that the laser operates at. So <clears throat> these... Uh, these amber panels are really important if a you would still uh, that that you want to uh, have a safer workspace but also consider uh, these if you have little ones running around or pets that don't necessarily know not to make uh, direct eye contact with the laser beam um, one really important thing to understand with these panels is that we're not saying that you can directly look at the laser. You'll still, users and everyone around the laser still needs to be using safety, uh, the appropriate safety glasses for the laser. Um, however, what we will say is that these panels do a really great job of reducing the light transmittance that the laser actually uh, flashes. and. As far as safety, I think that this is a, an essential safety feature for the X-Tool D1 enclosure. We also designed our enclosure for easy access. So we've given it dual doors. And as you can see in my model here, that we have a knob here in the front and up on top. So the front door flips down and gives you easy access to the front of the machine. That gives you access to the uh, start button here and also to load media through the front of the machine there too. 
The, we, we also included a large panel for the top cover so that you can flip this up and you get easy access to load media from the top or adjust media. Uh, and they can also be opened and closed at the same time to give you even greater access. So we think that that is a great option as far as just keeping the usability of your Xtool D1 even when it's enclosed. So the function of this enclosure is designed to isolate smoke and uh, fumes that result from the laser engraving process. And so <clears throat> the first thing we have a small, uh, this creates a small airspace so that it catches the smoke. And then we've also designed this exhaust port, which is fan powered and you can actually uh, connect up a four inch exhaust hose. This is typically like a common dryer hose. Um, and uh, our bracket here that we've made fits snugly right around that, uh, that four inch hose. Additionally, and probably one of the most requested features for our laser engraver enclosures is that it is compatible with rotary operations. And I'm happy to say that the our enclosure is absolutely compatible with the Xtool D1 rotary. Uh, and as you can see in my model here, we actually have our extension legs already put on to the machine and there's ample height to accommodate for that. Uh, additionally, this is uh, as part of the uh, footing design. If you have a very large piece, like say a wine barrel, then you can actually raise up and move the X Tool D1 with the enclosure, and it sets up very fast and very easy for for those rotary operations. Uh, lastly, if you would like to make your X Tool D1 at the down to the normal height without the extended legs you can actually remove it or unscrew the leg extensions and you can take off this uh, power supply port and flip it over so that you have access to the usb and power supply panel another feature that we've designed into our enclosure is the ability to slide large media and oversized media through these uh, front and side ports of the enclosure. So a little update that I'll get into is that we've made these covers to make the uh, venting operations a little bit more efficient and uh, but they these are easy to remove so say if you have a large sheet of paper or uh, a wood veneer that is larger than the size of the machine in the enclosure you can easily slip that in the front or through the sides to uh, get better access and uh, for e for loading your medium easier i also want to talk about our optional lift kit the lift kit is uh essential for those that are doing a lot of rotary operations and especially if you're doing larger objects or if you're changing the size of uh, the objects that you are doing rotary operations for. So essentially what the lift kit is, is uh, four interlocking blocks or four blocks that, uh, that lock into place with the enclosure feet. And uh, these are one inch tall blocks that raise up the enclosure in total to give you some extra clearance even above and beyond what the uh, what the X tool uh, machine will give you. So these are, like I said, pretty essential if you are doing large media um, and changing out uh, media often. Uh, by the way, the one of the best benefits from these is that since they just slip right in, change it, changing the height of your enclosure with this option uh, only takes about 30 seconds compared to uh, if you are unscrewing the, the legs of the machine to raise and lower it, you're probably looking at like 
you know, about five minutes. So it's a big uh, time saver there as well. So now let me tell you about some of the improvements that we've made to our enclosure. Our XDual D1 enclosure has been on the market for about six months now. And along that time, we've been developing upgrades and updates for it so that we can uh, enhance some of the performance on it. And so we're, I'm excited to tell you about some of the things that we've made uh, and some of the, and it correlates directly with some of the requests that we've gotten from our users. So uh, first update that we've uh, set up and I kind of already introduced it are these, uh, uh, these slot covers for the media uh, for the for the media slots and uh, so these are um, 3d printable uh, pieces that uh, lock into place uh, lock into the the media slots to um, kind of block the air from uh, from flowing in or out so the idea here is that we're making the exhaust a little bit more efficient and allowing less smoke to escape from the enclosure so you should with these you should be able to uh, have less smells escaping from the enclosure which is what everyone likes and wants the next update i wanted to tell you about is uh an enhancement to the exhaust system on our uh, enclosures. So uh, for those of you, again, that are not necessarily familiar with our enclosures, we offer uh, an exhaust port on each side so you can mount it on the left or on the right. And also we have a USB powered uh, with fan with speed control that you can mount directly to the side. Now, what we've updated with this is that first, we improved the uh, housing or the, or the port for your uh, exhaust fan. So uh, this port here on the side actually slips right over a four inch exhaust hose. And then it's also compatible with our uh, with, with our exhaust fan and we have two exhaust fans now uh, the first one is a, uh, a 100 CFM uh, USB powered exhaust fan and uh, this is uh, nearly silent and really easy to use and it's good for smaller uh, and starter projects the new addition that we've also created is a 200 CFM uh, high output fan so as many of you know, a popular option is for a four inch inline fan that is easily sourced on Amazon. However, they're kind of bulky in nature and they're a little bit tough to uh, strategize as far as a setup and having them be uh, stable on top of a desk. However, our new 200 CFM uh, uh, fan mounts right to the panel and uh, in negates the need for that inline fan and saves a ton of room and is easy to work with. The next upgrade and addition that I want to tell you about is our MDF spoil board. So for those of you that are not familiar with what the concept of a spoil board is on these is it's basically a sacrificial surface and so the sacrificial surface is important so that when you're cutting through material or even just an engraving that you don't accidentally burn through and uh, engrave onto the table that your uh, x tool is sitting on so our uh, uh our spoil board is uh one quarter inch mdf and it's cnc cut so that it nests perfectly within the bounds of your enclosure and then it also nests perfectly with the feet of the enclosure. This is really important because what this does is this allows the spoil board to lock into, uh, lock into place. And what you can also in, uh, end up doing is then you'll wanna engrave your choice of grid onto the spoil board. And this makes it really easy to line up your piece. And and then also it makes it so that your grid doesn't move around. So you always know that your piece will be registered correctly. 
Another popular upgrade that people like to include are the LED lighting strips that we offer for our enclosures. We actually tailor fit these LED lighting strips for our enclosures and they are easily mounted to the hood of the enclosure and we include uh, all the wiring that you need to route the uh, wires out the back through this rubber grommet um, on the back panel. We, when you order the lighting kit, we include um, uh, the wiring that you need to uh, to route out the back. We include a power supply, and then we also include a switch so you can turn your lights off uh, easily and, and as you need. The last update I want to tell you about today is probably the most highly uh, requested update for our enclosures, and that is a way to prop up the lid of the enclosure. So just so it's a little easier to see here, I'm just going to uh, hide the panels of the enclosure. And as you can see, we've got what I call a kickstand system here. And this kickstand system, um, first, it easily mounts to the frame of the enclosure and doesn't need any hard modification. All we simply use is some double-sided uh, mounting tape. And you can see on the base here, this is uh, just set, this just sets right on top of the uh, the frame, and then it has a second piece that allows it to swivel, and the the uh, the kickstand folds up. And you can see I've got it on both sides here, and that gives it great great stability. And uh, the design just utilizes uh, a, a wooden dowel. Um, that is a three eighths inch wooden dowel that flips up uh, along with a um, magnetic bracket on the end. And that meets up with the magnetic buttons that are on the lid of the enclosure. So uh, this allows you to prop up the, uh, the lid of the enclosure, gives you ample space to load and unload media hands-free and just makes general operation so much easier. Um, and that's really exciting. I think that really adds a, a great element. I think all of these upgrades offer a lot of additional performance or a lot of different uh, additional functionality to our enclosure. I'd like to finish off just by talking about who Clearview is and what we do. So again, my name is Neil Henderson and I'm the owner and head designer here at Clearview. And we specialize in enclosure systems for 3D printers, laser engravers, and other uh, uh, general machinery. Uh, we're a California company and we design and manufacture our enclosures at our fabrication shop right in Sacramento. And we've helped a variety of users from hobbyists to Fortune 500 companies like Texas Instruments to tech startups in the Bay Area and even in educational institutions. Uh, we built a, a couple enclosures for MIT as well. Uh, we're a family or a small family owned business and we're appreciative people and we work hard to make sure you get a great enclosure that fits well and performs great. If you're interested in one of our enclosure systems, you can go to clearviewplastic.com and see the range of enclosures that we make there. If you'd like to reach out, you can hit us at contact at clearviewplastic.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions that come up. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.